Events make a chapter, chapters make a story, and stories make a legacy. The Rat Cult is destined to one day bite and scratch their way to immortality, but until then, their story begins like every other. In this chapter, the Rat Cult meets a powerful clan that controls an important thrall spawn, and the cult won't stop until they trap that clan and end their tyrannical rule. It has begun! Life begins the way it always does, with the placement of a single sandstone block. The early stages of survival are often the happiest time of a rat's life. Life is simple, perfect for Steven's tiny rat brain. That lone foundation grows into a small starter base, and Steven is soon joined by none other than by the rat chat himself, Mordrag. Fucking Jaguar is over here. The world is theirs for the taking, but first, they need a name. A common banner under which to rally for the cult's cause. I don't have a clan yet, give me a second. We should do like, like something rat themed maybe, like fucking rat gang or some shit. Steven thinks long and hard. A name can make or break a clan's reputation. Hey, you invite me to the clan? Legends! All right. All right, sweet. All right, sweet. Hell yeah. Sandstone becomes stone brick. 32, 33. And brick by brick, the rat cult rises once more. Okay, we've got a wheel of pain, sick. Hell yeah. This world better be ready. The cult demands sacrifices. Ow! Nearby, there's a camp filled with landlocked pirates. They call themselves the Black Hand. It's the perfect place to hone fighting skills, but Steven is squishy. He's crushed by the pirate's axe. <laughs> oh, I just died. Holy shit. We gotta get a stable set up too. Revenge. I killed her. Yeah, I know that there's this one named dude who's like apparently like his fucking HP scales so high. Mordrag is referring to the legendary exile Beastmaster Tamos. He's rumored to live in the far corner of the jungle. The cult will soon learn that Mordrag's ambition will place the cult on a collision course with powerful enemies. I think the key to like the next time we get attacked, yeah, like we just have to be really aggressive with stopping the trap. Oh my god, it's happening. A bitter enemy toppled the Great Rat Tower, but from its ashes, the cult rises. Stronger, smarter, greasier. And this time, they'll be ready for whatever evil comes knocking on their door. Hopefully. The cult needs soldiers, and the nearby pirates make good candidates. Steven and Mordrag will use wooden clubs to knock them out and then drag them back to the Wheel of Pain. Unfortunately, conscription can be a difficult process. Do you want to help me knock out some thralls? Yeah. Alright, ready when you are. It's level 3. Oh shit. Tiger's almost dead. Tiger's dead. Do we want to... Get this guy. Do you have a shield? You can just sit there and block and I'll club him. I don't know. They devise a plan to sandwich the pirate between their shields. Steven quickly crafts a shield for Mordrag. I dropped a shield for you on the ground. Oh, Jesus. Steven and Mordrag take turns blocking and attacking. Finally, the dangerous pirate is disarmed. Nice, bro. Steven drags him back to base and places him on the wheel of pain. Over time, his spirit will break and he will join the cult's cause. First thrall on the wheel, we got it. You wanna keep going? Yeah. This tiger should be dead. This dude dead, he's dead. Steven hunts down another pirate thrall. <laughs> How? He swings a powerful knockout blow, but the unconscious body is swallowed by the earth and disappears forever. You picked the wrong camp, mate. Steven then spots an alchemist, which can be used to unlock fire orbs. He readies his club, but she vanishes as well. What? She was just here. Dude, that's stupid. The fighter thrall finally submits and Steven frees him from the wheel. What seems to be the problem, Fabio? The name is not Fabio. He's given a club and they return to the pirate camp. Watch your flags. May it be night. I found the alchemist, no way. Here she is. The unconscious alchemist disappears into the earth. Oh no. Can you see it right here? No. She's never seen again. I just maxed out strength and then put enough to get uh, health regen. Earlier, Mordrag set off to track and enslave the mighty Beastmaster, but he died. His body was looted by another exile, and the unconscious thrall was stolen. Together, Steven and Mordrag return to the scene of the crime. They will soon learn that they aren't the only clan hunting for the Beastmaster. Oh, someone fucking took him. He was standing right here. This is someone's thrall? Yeah. Yeah, the fucking dude, he was he was standing right up here. So somebody probably tamed him and then looted my body and left. Check the event log. Oh yeah, Greta Hell's daughter from the Ironborn. She took all your stuff. The thief has a name. 
Greta of Clan Ironborn. Morjack doesn't hesitate to reach out and chat. Greta Ironborn, you stole from me. I will remember this. Mordrag issues an ominous proclamation, but it's an empty threat unless the cult can discover where she lives. They start by searching the local area. There's a base back here. Buzz and Towers, not him. This is the monkeys, not them. There's a map room right there, that's good to know. Valor. Demi Devil. I wonder if it's like southeast of this island. Because when we were running down there, I saw some movement down the beach. Could be worse. I could have gotten looted from uh, Big Booty Judy. Okay, so then can you let me out, please? I'm asking you nicely. Greta finally replies to Mordrag. You want to steal Truncheon Mondrag? They say, yeah, tell me where your base is at and I'll come get it. Just a sec, Mondrag. I want to keep the medium if you don't mind. She's keeping your medium armor. Where's your base? I'll come to you. I meet you where your body was. How f would it be if I, like, get here and she's here and she f***ing kills me? Takes my shit again. Oh, I can see her. Mordrag and Steven devise a plan to follow Greta back to her home. Steven takes Overwatch and Mordrag makes the handoff. Oh, she's giving me bandages, rope, my daggers back, a steel trudgeon. Oh, she apologized, so I, I kind of can't feel, I don't, I'd feel bad. The interaction goes much more positive than expected, and Greta reveals a kindness that melts the animosity in their hearts. She's forgiven. Oh, the dude's back, the beast dude spawned. Oh no. Yeah, the, the f***ing thrall sitting here is just killing the f***ing beast master. Just t trying to figure out who's... For all that is. Greta may no longer be a threat, but the rat cult is about to have a new problem. Someone has parked their thrall in the middle of the Beastmaster spawn, effectively denying access to everybody. It belongs to D-Dog, and he belongs to the ones. Yeah, he's online. He's in a three-man clan. Mordrag attempts some diplomacy. Is D-Dog online? Tell him to recall his friggin' thrall. What are you beefing about? Move your friggin' thrall. <laughs> Jesus. I'll be friendly. It's killing an NPC I'm trying to capture. Maybe you should ask dipshit. Can you please move your thrall? That's better, lad. Oh. <laughs> At the Timo's spawn? Yes. Call me daddy the maybe. He did say please D-Dog. Oh, he did. Call me daddy the maybe, dude. These are the guys. Yeah, these are the guys for sure. It's hard to explain, but something about the ones called out to the cult. Like a certain face you want to punch, but you're not sure why. In that moment, the cult knew that the ones were the ones. They have the cult's full attention. Greta runs off. They decide to let her go. I'll let her go then. She seems pretty cool though. Their only concern now is to find where the ones call home. Yeah, we, we need to figure out where the f these guys are. Mordrag tries to provoke them into action. Are you sure this is how you want to handle this? Of course, buddy. Lol. Oh, wait. We are so scared. In a game. Was that a threat? I don't know what I will do with myself. Nah, my thrall can stay there. That's fine. Have it your way, sir. Oh, dude, that Greta chick just came back and gave me my medium armor. Damn, dude. Let's ally with her. She just said we should ruin them. Yes, dude. She says, I'm playing by Ironborn rules, so it might be a long way to go for me. Sure. I'm just, I'm asking what, what that means. She says, no grinding, pay the iron price for everything, keep what I kill, lol. Tired of being a farmer. Is that you coming up this way? You know what's really crazy is uh, the pictures from Hunter Biden's laptop. Oh, he spawned, he spawned. Greta went from a target to a friend. She returns and helps the cult knock out Beastmaster Tamos. Oh, oh she no. got up. Hey bro, Ironborn man, that means we can take her stuff. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Even with Greta's help, they still had no chance of capturing Tamos. God damn it. Greta paid the iron price, and D-Dog's thrall killed Tamos again. I was just looking through it, seeing what she's got. We gotta find the ones, man. Yeah. I think this is her coming back. You get him? Nope. He ran over to the thrall and died. For friggin' sake. Steven questions Greta to see if she knows where the ones live. No, I don't know. Can can you hear me? I'm a god, and you a girl? Yeah, I can hear you. you. Sound good. Oh, good. Good, good. I just kind of annoying. I hate it when people do stupid things like that. Like, oh yeah, I'll just leave my thrall over here and be an asshole. Greta doesn't know where the ones live, but if she finds out, then let the cult know. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely will share that with you. You're gonna try to get another spawn? <laughs> Super fun. We're gonna fuck those guys up. Or at least, you know, annoy them. Yeah, it seems to me like he put his thrall there on purpose. Yep. The cult and the ironborn part ways. Perhaps one day, their paths will cross again. I can't believe it, it's a girl. A We're real girl. I am a dick, how can I make a girl? Some time passes, and Mordrag makes another attempt to enslave Tamos with different yet similar results. 
Torika and Certified Retard just killed me. They teabagged me and laughed at me. Motherfuckers. The, I forget what they were said, but they were like making fun of me on voice chat. <laughs> really? Yeah, and then they want the uh, the Tortuga guy teabagged me. I'm making a list. A shit list? Please put me on your shit list. Please me lord. The rat cult returns home and so ends their first day. Thus far, they've made two enemies and one friend. <sighs> the sun rises over the cult. It's a new day. They haven't forgotten their enemies, but life goes on. Steven returns to enslaving the locals. Yeah, before you logged, uh, you logged on, like, I heard, like, someone moving around outside our base. Someone was scouting the cult's base. Who could it be? I don't know if, like, I just forgot how to do this, but to make orbs, now you have to put the mold into the casting table, melt glass in the furnace, and then move the glass over to the casting table, and then you make orbs from that. They, like, changed a lot of, like, crafting shit. Yeah, I'm, like, already seeing bases where they're, instead of walls, they're just fucking using drawbridges. Pussy! Morjack still has his mind fixed on capturing Beastmaster Tamos. I'm trying to to get that fucking beast thrall guy up. I'm heading over there to see if thrall's still guarding it or not. Steven sets out to collect puffball mushrooms and harvest volatile glands from giant salamanders. Sweet, I got 12. Yeah, so I just got to the place. It looks like uh, I'm not seeing that dude's thrall there anymore. So I might be able to actually tame this dude when he spawns. You shouldn't do it, but it'd be funny if you were in chat and being like, oh, thanks for moving your thrall. Dude, you know if I say that, he's gonna fucking come right over here, right? Let's just be super nice and unassuming. Yeah, yeah, just like be naive and just think they're like actually like nice to us. If you come on too hard, that might put them on their guard. I named uh, this uh, this fighter thrall uh, Big Booty Judy. She seems like she's a real winner. Oh, I bet. There's some games that chicks just fucking gravitate to. Maybe it's because it's like the Conan universe, so like women drink, read all those like erotic fiction novel movies about like a big strong barbarian type dude. Every girl's fantasy is to be like locked up in someone's dungeon. She's stuck. Well, I played myself. Stench human. How do you like my base? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, I just died. Some fucking dude in, in purple. Just killed me in my thrall. What's his name? With a stupid spear, fucking just wrecked me. What clan is he in? Rolf. R O L F. Morjack has tried three times to capture the Beastmaster. Each has resulted in his death. He may never get Tamos, but he's definitely adding names to his list. That's fucking gay with a capital H. Just found Rolf's base. It's a pretty big base. Mordrag's pursuit of the Beastmaster is a journey fraught with enemies. Rolf isn't a main target, but Steven will retaliate if given the chance. Why is it so hard to hit these puffball mushrooms? I can't get this one. Out of all the farming that I did, of all the lizards that I killed, I got 12 fire glands. I think I have 5 here. So I have 17 total fire glands. I think I can make three orbs from that. Yeah, five each. No, I only have four. That's terrible. 16. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I need water-filled flasks first. Um, unless here we go. I think I can just fill them in the bench, right? And we need ichor. Wow, dude, there's so many steps. This is too much for me. Steven finishes work on some base upgrades and then sets out for some exploring. The clan that recently killed Mordrag at the Tamo spawn is now camping the map room. Had to attack me on a map room. People at sinkhole camping by the map room. Fricktards literally attack anyone. Their overbites demand it. It's too dangerous to teleport to the sinkhole. Instead, Steven will put on his favorite set of coarse fiber rags and walk to Sepramaru. It'll be a good chance to scout the land and any bases along the way. Steven spots a small sandstone base. It looks like there's a way inside. <sighs> Volatile glands, for sure taking that. And wraps. Another base, another way inside. This is cool. Fatalist Invictus. Dude, what is the lag? This is a cool base, I like it. Steven spots a massive castle. He doesn't yet know the owners, but this place will one day play an important role in the Rat Cult story to come. There's a big base popping in. All sandstone. Massive. Wow. Four is awkward. Remember that name. Steven avoids trouble and makes it all the way to Sepper Maru. Hidden chests spread out across the city hold decent loot, especially for a poor rat. 17 steel and ivory arrows and relic hunter booties. I'll take it. 
Stephen spots another exile dressed in similar clothing. This town ain't big enough for the both of them. Stephen rallies the local gang. He finishes plundering and returns home. There's someone waiting for him. Oh, there you are. Nice hat. The infamous Summer is back with the cult. He gives her a base tour. This is really beautiful. Look what you've done. Oh my gosh, I love this room. Well, this can be my bed. Wow, this is so neat and tidy for a man cave. <laughs> the rat cult is in a good place. It has food, shelter, and most importantly, each other. It's now time to let their enemies know that they won't be pushed around. Rolf's base is large, too large for the cult to siege at this time. But what if they disguise a trap under the pretense of preparing for a siege? A trebuchet base in the water may be enough to lure them outside to investigate. Do you have any wow. wood? I don't know if I can drop it here. I think it will fall. <laughs> I'll try to catch it. Do that then. There you go. Got it. I think that's all we can really do. I don't want to fully set it up because if they don't come on until raid time, they're just going to blow it. At least we have that claimed. Rolf is at home, so Steven and Summer go exploring, but they'll be back. This always gives me flashbacks to the Power Rangers. I loved that. I don't know if I have the kind of stamina <gasps> to make it up this mountain. Oh, up there. That could be it. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. It's the ones! We found the ones! Are you gonna go up? Yeah. <gasps> oh, this will be good. Oh, that haircut. I forgot you looked like that. <laughs> you make your character as short as possible, don't you? And this dude's like legit fucking 30 centimeters taller than me. The search is over, but the game has just begun. The ones is a large clan and any attack on them will be challenging. Steven will need to be creative, he will need to be relentless, and he will need to be greasy. Oh wow, another elevator? Yeah! <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, this is really awkward. I don't know what's happening. They may be in the process of building it. You think we can survive this drop into the water? Mm, you can try. I'll follow you if you survive. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I probably should have made a bedroll. <laughs> you got jacked up. Yeah. Steven and Summer finish scouting their base and return home. The raid window opened later that day, but the Rat Cult's home remained untouched. An act of Baldric spared it from the horrors of the wars that raged during the night. The next day, Steven performs a quick check to ensure everything is in order. Another member of the cult reports for duty. Kefin is back. The cult grows stronger. The server is popping. Yeah, I've seen there was quite a few people on there. Hey guys. Dude, I am so fucking tired. Steven, I love your videos, bro. Kefin getting in on this yep. Yep. madness? Yeah, man, yeah, Kefin's okay. back, dude. The team is back. Do you guys see all the fucking steel I farmed this morning at like three in the morning? I tried to get on last night, but dude, there was a fucking like 10 person queue. It's kind of funny because all three of our enemies, Kef, are basically guys that killed Mordrag. So yeah. uh, <laughs> you can't fuck with me because that's, that's just against the rules. Well, you know, Rolf is online. With the old Rat Cult crew almost back together. I'm louder. Steven wants to try a new plan, a different way to imprison their enemies. He explains that he and Summer placed foundations in the water outside of Rolf's base yesterday. They can now make a trap where their enemies will fall into the water. He'll call it the fishbowl trap. There'll be fish in our trap. Oh, trap. dude, yeah, yeah. Nice outfit. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. I gotta put like a ramp at these stairs, this like doorway. I, I fucking hate jumping. There we go. Now there's a little, little ramp. A little wheelchair access. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Now you're too tall. Watch me. Watch me. What the fuck? Is it the spear? You're fat, bro. What the hell? I'm small as fuck, boy. <laughs> bro, you're killing me with your kicks. <laughs> What's your um names? Steven. More drag. No, 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 no. In game. <laughs> yes, Steven. More drag. <laughs> All right, okay. A greasy-looking exile rat man approaches. Who could it be? There he is. This is the best hiding spot. Here, here we go, that. 
stolen. All right, let's start heading over. Huh. Someone just died right here. Fear, Fear ghost. ghost. <laughs> 6208. Fear ghost is dead on their doorstep. Does he live nearby? I've got the tool upgrade kit. I'm getting like 40 plus per swing. It's insane. Oh wow. I'm getting 24 of my stone pickaxe. Hey, you guys recognize this location right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is where we made our final stand. Oh look, someone's actually built up there. That's the juiciest rhino I've ever seen. Hello? Hello? I want to play games. What are you doing? Are you all playing Conan Exiles? We're trying to trap people. I want to do that. The cult will build two traps, a primary and a fallback. Dude, we could build it right here. Oh, perfect. Time is of the essence. Steven must build quickly. If they're spotted early, then the plan won't work. Kind of want like a slightly bigger opening because it gives them a lot more confidence. That's so a good idea, actually. You don't want to freak him out. Do we fucking just try to bait him now? I still got lots of stuff if you need them. I've got 10 walls and there's some more stone and wood in that chest. Sweet, perfect. I expect as soon as they see a giant floating platform next to their base, they're going to come out. I hope so. I'm getting nervous. I don't know. I'm using a breathing mask, I think, for the first time ever. Hey, um, they're not too bad, actually, to say the truth. Yeah, you can just drop it and I'll catch it. I'll put some newbie things in there. The goal right now is to not be seen. Because if they come over now, then we're fucked. If someone could get up on the cliff or get into a tree and just watch their base. I'm gonna be up in this huge tree, like right in their at their front gate. It'll give me a perfect vantage spot down inside their base. Little peeping Tom. Yeah, you can call me a chipmunk or a squirrel. Ow, I fell. I'm gonna go the other side of the base if I can. I'm just a rat in a tree. Is that summer in the water? Yes. I think he's talking about the yellow card dudes. They're gonna get jabated in three hours lol. What is jabated? What does that mean? It means like um, what we're doing. Oh, okay. Like, everything was going swimmingly until it wasn't. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. There's actually a in the base. There's a pink guy and he's uh, taking the drawbridge to his main. He's getting ready to go across to the main section. I can see him on the elevator. Oh god, if he looks towards the water. I don't think he notices. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They, someone just jumped. They, they see you, they see you. Summer oh, go, shit. summer go, summer go. Someone jumped in the water. More dragger caps, you gotta be there. I'm, I'm in a tree. Now. I can't get there in time. You guys. I, I won't be. I definitely won't be there in time. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna run. I, I might be able to make it. Okay, I, I, I should be there. I should be there. I'm, I'm almost there. There's walls already made in the chest as well. Oh, I had. I was taking them to Craig. Someone's just I... jumped off the side into the water. Oh no, there's no walls anymore. I'm gonna lead them to the base, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Please run to the base. I'm in the base right now. Someone else is yeah, coming to the Steven's plan crumbled faster than the rat tower. The cult scurried away like the greasy rats they are, but some weren't so fortunate in their escape. <laughs> this is on my dick. Oh, f that. They're trying to intercept me in the water. I'm fucked. Oh, damn. No, I was, um, I'm dead. He got me. I don't know where he ran off to. Oh, dude. We're fucked. Oh, I knew it. I knew these good dudes were going to see us. I think we can still get him. Yeah, I'm just, I'm waiting. He's here. He's here again. Oh my gosh. Of course he has a spear with poison on it. Yeah, I've got someone coming over to the, uh, where is that you, Steve? Uh, no, he's purple. Oh god, he's back. Yeah, he sees me. Oh so, shit, he's coming. So, i got one following me now. Yeah, he's chasing me with an axe in the water. Got another one swimming. No, he got me. All right, I say we just retreat. I don't think we can salvage this. They spotted the cult too soon and drowned any chance of success. It's okay though, the cult is just getting started. Can you show me where this guy's base is at? Yeah, sure. The body found outside the base earlier, Fear Ghost, is now a neighbor. And he attacked the cult while Steven was offline. Yeah, I heard like someone moving around outside our base. Someone just died right here. Fear, Fear Ghost. Ghost. Did you build all these airlocks for that guy? <laughs> Somewhere in the other guy did. Yeah, so basically, uh, some fucking dude just showed up at our base, just started attacking us whenever like someone would come outside. He always had a like panther pet or like a jaguar pet with him that's his base up there i ran him inside our base and i fucking locked him in the in the airlock and then i fucking was like telling him drop his gear and he wasn't listening so i just fucking gas orbed him every time he'd respawn he'd come back here with another fucking pet i killed him four fucking times outside our base and then finally i ran over here because i'm like he's got to be close i found his base he had a taskmaster in there i fucking i just stole it and uh he seemed kind of pissed. What do you guys think is the strongest type of weapon? I've been enjoying the short sword. Depression. What is this thing? 
Oh, this is another door. Yeah, so if you go up to the roof, yeah, we put another okay. another hatch here. And that's all because of this one guy. He would die and then come back and just hang out around, outside our base. I found two dudes. I forget the one guy's name, but one of their names was was Monix. I'm, I'm trying to do every interaction, like being friendly with people. It's just just so happened that there's four fucking clans of dickheads running around. Remember the name Monix. He won't play a role in this chapter, but later on, he's a character that will come to play a central role in this story. In the meantime, Steven fixes all the new additions to the base. Oh, I got her! It's a female, so she's my- I'm claiming her as my bride. Yeah, Kefin will steal her. Oh no. You know how Kefin gets around those female thralls. Wow. Full nudity. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I gotta keep Summer away from her too, because Summer likes to put them in slutty outfits. Could be worse. This thrall, she's pure. <laughs> yeah. She is to be untainted. Summer, do not corrupt her. Oh, I like the- I like the porch. <laughs> So this is my new wife. Yo, dude. Yeah, dude, I was like, Jesus. The bangs, though? I don't know about the bangs, but nice job. The fringe is a bit much, but that's all right. I'll just have her wear like a like a face mask the whole time. Yeah, just like a bag. Yeah, like a like a brown paper bag. Yeah, I'm gonna do some fucking steel farming too. Sweet, I'll come with you. Did you put that throw up there on the rock? No. That's weird. Is this a person? Hold on. There's legit just a person. Dude, this is a real person. Yeah. Nah, fake person. Dude, there's a thrall just on top of a rock hovering over our base. That's so creepy. Oh, what the fuck? So what did the admins get all upset about you for? So you know that, that first base we tried to trap the, the guys on the on the beach. Yeah, apparently they reported us to the admins saying that we were building a fob. The Mega Clan Rolf reported the poor rat cult to the admins for building some sandstone. The cult will wear that complaint as a badge of honor. No one's here. You take south, I'll take north, and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Oh, someone's here on a horse. Just beneath me. Oh. You know what's really funny is I literally like YouTube how to get bearer backpacks. And your video from 2018 was the first one that popped up. I see the guy on horseback again. Is he riding like away from you? I think he sees me. Hello, who goes there? Chris H spots Steven. His only chance for survival is to blend in with the locals. Let's see if he falls for it. He's looking for me. Oh no. How do you do the, the emote wheel again? Hold R. Stopped right in front of me. Do you see me? Oh, yeah, to the right. Oh shit, I think he's coming over to you. Oh shit, oh shit. Hi, how's it going? Oh, he's being friendly. How's it going? Oh, he's got his mic. Go inside the bar with Conan and take a seat. He's coming. Anything I can offer you for your travels? Yeah, could I have 100 steel? I could use 100 steel. Chris H appears to be friendly, but can the cult really trust him? Hmm, stay here. Okay. Oh wow, really? Oh shit. <laughs> He's probably like, what the f Hi, Steven. I saw him trying to blend in law. No, he didn't. He's lying. Bro, what's going on over here? Yo, I guess Conan likes dudes or something. Why, is, Why there is there three dudes with biker gloves on? With fingerless gloves on? <laughs> fingerless gloves. Oh my god, dude. Mascara? What the f Oh, that is the dumbest dance ever. No, we're not doing that. Nick Manette. What is love? Steven and Morjag hang out with Conan and the boys at the bar for a while. Chris H never returns. Do you think he's gonna give us steel, or do you think he's just gonna like do something else, or just like leave? He seems like a scrub, and for him to just have a hundred steel that he can just give to us, I don't know. But maybe the cult won't forget his broken promise. Yeah, oh, nice. watch this. <gasps> he just like no. Conan ain't got shit on me, dog. Let's head back. Back home, Stephen walks over to check out Fear Ghost's base more closely. He thinks he spots a way inside. Fear Ghost will likely try to raid the cult, but not if the cult raids him first. It's time for the cult to pay a visit to their main enemy, the Ones. 
the cult never forgets. There's a three skull elephant boss. Oh yeah, that thing f***ed me up earlier. The ones camp the Beastmaster spawn, so Steven and Mordrag will camp their base. Oh, dude. Oh shit. There's two dudes in farming backpacks coming down the elevator. Oh shit. If this was done, fuck man. I don't think there's anything to tip them off. I'm just trying to run so they don't see me. At least they know it's there. Oh yeah, I see him down there. I'm right above you. Turn around. Nice. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. I think we're good. Oh god, they're here! They're at the, they're at the cube! They're at the f***ing cube! What the f***? Oh god, they saw me! Run, bro, run. Oh god, they're chasing me! I see him. Just keep going. Yeah, go, 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 go. He's coming back! He's coming back to the square! I can see him. He's looking for me. Dude, they Dude. do not like that square there at all. Yeah, yeah, they don't like it, man. Go, oh, hey, would you mind moving your base? And you could be like, oh yeah, like when you moved your thrall. So their elevator's down right now. I think you should try to sneak up to their elevator and take it up. If you just sit at the top of the elevator, every time they call it down, just call it back up. Okay, I'm making a run for it. I see you. Do you see them? They're near me. They're near me for sure. Oh shit. Go, bro. I can see you. Yo, did they not see me do that? They're coming for you. Go, go, go. They're coming. Oh, shit. They're calling it back. Oh, up. oh no. Oh, no. Oh, f dude. We're in their heads. Okay, he's running off. Call it down. Call it down. Okay, go, go, go. He's building. So slow. Oh, dude, they're dumb. Money, bro. This is my elevator now? My elevator now. This is Mordrag's elevator now. Hell yeah. Uh, excuse me, you're griefing me? Uh, no, I'm just trying to t use the elevator. I'm just exploring. Thank you. Are they really building a base right there? Dude, that's so random, dude. The coincidence. Dude, I think we're tweaking them out, man. Like you said, like, we're, we're f***ing with their heads right now. <laughs> oh, he's building around the elevator. Building at the base of it? Yeah. Well, it's not his elevator. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's mine. I live here now, in your elevator? Oh, they know I'm here! They're trying to climb! They're trying to climb! Those sneaky motherfuckers. I'm taking their, their, their big one. <laughs> He's, I see him climbing. Oh, he, he deleted it. That fucker. Oh, I died. What a bitch. These guys are the new main focus. I don't give a shit about anybody else. I just want to live to make their life hell. Mordrag has goals. The rat cult can accommodate them. The ones are the ones. Steven finishes up his building, but the ones are offline. Mordrag and Steven will return later. The ones eventually return, and Steven and Mordrag run back, but someone else is here. Damn, I just f***ing died trying to jump down the sinkhole. Oh shoot, dude. Someone's on me. Dude, yeah. There's a dude chasing me. Shit, hold on. Yo, bro, do you see me on the map? Can you meet me? Let's try to double team this guy. I'm f***ing naked, but yeah. He's still on me. Typical old Craig. Old Craig isn't here, you noob. Lol. Yeah, he is. Next thing you'll say is Asmongold is on the server. Even if it is old Craig, don't harass him. LMAO. Duquan runs off. Steven has more important things to worry about. Oh, dude, someone's out here, or is that you, ground level? Yeah, it's me. I'm naked. There's someone in back of you. Oh, that's one of the D-Dog dudes. He's placing blocks right now, dude. Let's kill him and take his building supplies. Are you going up the elevator right now? Right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, did you put a bedroll? Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Don't die, man. Don't do it. Oh, man. They put so much anti-climb up here. Holy shit. Fuck. I see an empty elevator coming down. Yeah, I just fell. Oh, he's checking out your body. Man, if we were decent at PvP... We'd man, get so many we'd, girls. We'd be smashing girls. It's time to increase the pressure. More Dragon Steven will ambush the ones while they're farming. Well, shit. The ones base is large, maybe too large. Morjag asks the admin what the building limit is for the server without referencing anyone in particular. D-Dog instantly responds. Why you care about the build limit, Mordrag? Oh, wow. He knows exactly why you care about it. I think you know. Let's change our clan name to, like, Building Code Enforcers. Oh, dude. <laughs> and so the cult becomes Community Service, a clan dedicated to serving the community, one for all, and all for the rats. IDK just seems like some bases I've been inspecting might be close. Oh, def. I'm just going to say it. I think the ones is past the limit. Keep hoping, little boy. There's at least one down here with a thrall. Okay, I'm coming. Oh yeah, I see him. He's going for the elevator. Oh shit, is that you? A big swing and a bigger miss. I fell off the cliff. He's hiding back here. He's up there, dude. Yeah, I see him, I see him. Get him, bro, get him. Before his boys come. 
Someone else is here with the backpack. Watch out behind you. Backup has arrived. Thrall just killed my fucking Thrall and my horse. Are you at the elevator? Dude, there's more coming in. Bail, dude, get out of there. Can you fall back to the sandstone base? The entire clan is here. It's time to fall back. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh. I'll leave the door open for you. Just run straight in. Come, come, come. You guys suck dick. Get in, get in. <laughs> so long, gay boys. Are uh, we gonna blow your shit to smithereens, gay boy? God, you guys are fucking trash. Hey, your mama's trash last night on my dick. <laughs> wow, you're fucking bad, dude. Can't aim for shit. He's throwing spears at me. That's sick, dude. Collect them and just throw them back. Is that you? By yourself? Do you need help? No, I'm good. I'm good. There's two more here. You guys are so bad. Yeah, they ran off. They just like one shotted your thrall and horse. His thrall, his thrall, fucking two shotted my horse and my fucking thrall. And then I was like hitting them with my spear, dude. It does no damage to them. They're grabbing gas. You guys are fucking trash. How are we trash? You're camping us. I can't even hear you. You're camping us. You're at our base and built right beside us. How are we trash? And you're hiding in a building. I don't understand how we're trash. Is that you guys running? obviously came here to be. No, yeah, that's me. That's me. You guys can't do shit. You're sitting inside of a building talking trash. They're so using gas now. Yeah, I'm gas isn't gonna help, that. dude. Sorry. You you're sitting inside gas. of a freaking. No, oh god, yeah, or we might need to f I need to mine. I, I can't give him the star f spear, dude. Or unless you make a run for it and jump off the cliff. I can do that. Yo, you guys can't aim for shit. Again, you're talking trash I'm going, I'm you going, came here, bud. Run, bro, you can do it. Are they still on you? Yeah, they're all on me. They gave up. Keep running, little boy. Lol, it was 4v1, you dumb butt. This Mordrag guy is mad. He can't scale our base anymore. Oh, I can still scale it. Come do it. I will later. I have to go cuddle my wife. That makes me smile. It's a good effort. We'll try again tomorrow. The ones didn't take the bait, and it seems like vengeance will take longer than expected. But rats are tenacious. Community service will return. Some time passes, and the cult relocates their base. They won't forget their enemies, but a fresh start will do them some good. The new location is pretty great. There's a three skull bug boss with deadly poison. You hurting, buddy? In a nearby loot chest. There's a crash of rhinos. The biggest one is a one skull boss and lives inside a rock. I'm guessing that's a rhino. We gotta set it free. There's a bale of turtles living on an island. I just set up this wheel of pain base right next to this little island with all these shaleback turtles on it. The boss turtle sometimes drops demon blood. Yeah, he's one skull. And I just got like 70 demon blood from him. The locals in town are friendly, but they get angry very quickly. Oh, what is this guy doing? Are you breaking in? Do we got a peeping Tom over here? Nick, my nut. Uh oh. <laughs> Time to run. Steven makes it to the wine cellar. A place filled with relic hunters and other dangerous mysteries. He's hoping to knock some out and drag them back to his wheel of pain. Oh yeah, we're going deep. Not sure if this is a huge mistake or not. Oh, he's at max level, no way. Fit, healthy diet, your follower knows how to aim a bow. Well, that sucks. I don't think we can knock that guy out, right? A shirtless man sways back and forth. He reeks of alcohol and sweat. He should be easy to defeat. Oh wow. You can respawn in the dungeon though, that's really sick. That's nuts that dude bas basically one-shot me again! Again! Steven should have heeded Kevin's advice. The first boss is easy, but it hits like a train. Looks like we got him though. Nice work. I need to name this guy. You are now Seth. Nice job, Seth. I think we can knock these guys out. Let's go, Seth, get him. Nice work, Seth. He just yeeted him off that cliff. Did you see that behind the back shot? No dance for me now. Seth, you got him, my boy. Hopefully I can find my way back. Whoa, that rope is doing something. I need to go this way, okay. Get off me, dear. That's not a bad little run. Home sweet home right here. Steven returns to base with Seth and places their first relic hunter on the Wheel of Pain. He makes the new thrall a set of armor and they head out to test his fighting skills. 
sunset will glory in your death. You've earned the name. You shall be called Shelly. So he started at what, 4,300? He's now over 5k. Seth, you've done work, man, but Shelly's gonna be huge. Ugh! Daggers of Nameless Days. What? <laughs> Shelly's a wrecking machine. I've never actually made it this far. We have to jump that? No way. No way, that's not a thing, right? And you can't climb either, so you can't grab the ledge. Did I do it? Oh my god. Okay. Yes, what a jump. Steven and Shelly cautiously enter the mist. He's never been here. What dangers await them? And those that tasted the bite of his sword named him the Doomslayer. Steven retreats. One shot, I'm dead. Fuck. Undead hordes swarm. There's no escape. Did you put a bed down somewhere close? He races back to save Shelly, the Shellback Slayer, but he's too late. Oh, dude, he's surrounded. He's so dead. There's no way he's dead. I named my thrall D Dog, comma, more drags bitch. Speaking of D Dog, Steven returns to the one's base to do some scouting. They had upgraded their elevator entrance, but Steven is confident he can find a way inside. The ones are home. Someone is coming down the elevator. Oh shit. Don't die. Steven evades detection. Steven just slipped into the rat hole. Dude, I'm on the bridge. We could skip that whole first section, get up here if we had explosives. And if we were quick enough, like, let's say they were out raiding somebody. If we slipped up here, got in real quick, who knows? Maybe we can make a play. I gotta f get back to my thrall. He's set to not attacking anything, and I died, and they're, like, attacking him. No, dude, not the beast master. If he dies, my computer is going out my window. He's going up the elevator. Should I shoot him? Yeah, 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 do it. Dude, that was almost the best shot ever. They're for sure wiping our little raid base. Oh, dude, I hit him. If you respect into the knockdown thing, would it knock him off the elevator? Oh, fuck yeah, dude, that's a good idea. We pop out. Uh, yeah, that's so good. Morjag makes a suggestion that will become an obsession for Steven. His suggestion is to use the flattening shot to knock enemies off of their elevators. If timed properly, they'll die from the fall. Steven loves this idea. Along with a siege cauldron kill, this becomes a personal goal of Steven's, and he will carry this with him in the Rat Cult story to come. Shelley died in the wine cellar, and Steven replaces him with a ball trick. This is the beautiful Baldrick. I'm so ugly. It's four minutes into raid time, and unsurprisingly, the ones have already blown into the cult's sandstone trap base. That was quick. They did not like that. Steven doesn't want to lose the land claim in that location. He grabs some T3 material and races back to the one's base. There's nothing left at all. The ones completely wiped the trap base, but they made one critical mistake. They didn't land claim it. Is he looking at me? Almost. Explosions. Someone is raiding. There's a nearby base. The ones are likely the culprits. They're heading this way. Steven rapidly places new foundations. Pretty sure the explosions came from there. These guys are running around. They just saw my foundations. I think they're standing on top of it. How crazy would that be if they blow those up? They are not happy with that. No way they're that mad. No fucking way, dude. Steven cannot afford to lose land claim in the area. He places more foundations. I'm out. That might buy me some time. Okay, they're looking for something. They could be looking for me, looking for where the building block is. So I can see inside that base. They just found them. They just found the next set of foundations. Oh, 
dude, they blocked it. Wow. Oh, there he is. They're still there. They've got to be crafting more explosives or something. Steven is finally spotted. Oh shit, run. Look at these dudes. He loses his pursuers, or so he thinks. An exile on horseback catches him off guard. Uh, that was unexpected. Who killed me? M attacker is in some other clan. Oh, lights armor. Yeah, who cares? A minor setback. He grabs a set of gear from a random exile and sneaks up to the raid. Do it. Do it. Do it. And, oh, bombs are placed. The ones are offline raiding. Yeah. Steven manages to grease his way inside undetected, but the enemy thralls can see him through the walls. If he drops down, they will be on him quickly. How are you going? I'm just stuck in a queue. Summer and Morjack are trying to join, but they're stuck in a large queue. Ah! Chill, thrall. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I just got disintegrated. One wrong move and Steven dies. But rats never die. For long, anyway. M attacker, the exile that killed Steven earlier, is dead. He must have been jumped by the ones. Steven leaves a parting message. The ones have blown into the bottom half of the base, but they're struggling to gain access to the upper levels. An exile with a backpack makes his way into the base. They must be close to transferring out loot. This might be Steven's chance to snag some of it. There's a lot of activity. Steven needs to make a play. The ones have to climb to reach the next level. Steven will slow them down as much as possible and maybe even kill one from fall damage. All right, I'm in. <laughs> Dude's looking at me like, uh, what? There's something. If one of these bodies fall, I'm gonna grab it so quick. He's having the hardest time climbing. The thralls are still locked onto Steven, but then he sees his chance. The exile with the bearer pack can't make the climb, so the exiles on top are throwing the loot down to him. Hey, I'm up to position number six in the queue now. The bear pack exile stares in disbelief as Steven solo walks to his escape. Yo, I did it. Any admin here? Steven, you are responsible for replacing all of that stuff you just took man that was the 50% we were leaving him. Admin if you are on, Steven took a bunch of stuff we were trying to leave for the guy we raided. We are no longer accountable for it. Sorry, I'm back. What I missed? D-Dog calls for an admin and claims that community service is now responsible for 50% of the loot to return to the original owner. Don't the f*** off. Wait, so they make you leave some of the loot when you raid someone? There's no rules about that. He's, he's full of shit. Steven walks off with the loot. Mordrag is now in game. The pair are not yet done with the ones. Oh, they're up there? Yeah. I'm gonna crawl up there and fuck with them. Yo, someone's firing arrows at me. What? Yeah, he's he's shooting at you. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. What got you? Oh shit, run dude, run, run, run. Oh, I almost fucking died, dude. Hey admins, people are still trying to be loot vacuums. Dude who griefs thrall spawns is crying for an admin, top keck. Mordrag, you're bad at the game. Shut up, whiny beefcake. Take those potions. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah, dude's a fucking bitch, man. We're not even geared. Huh? 
I just stole something that dropped loot. I stole it. Oh my god. Did it airdrop and you just grabbed it? Yeah. Dude, what we should do is go back to their elevator now and just control that shit. Not let them back into the base with all the loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, I died. I'm making my way over there. It's so funny that D-Dog thinks like saying, like telling me that I'm bad at the game is gonna like insult me or something. I'm at the elevator. Someone called it. Oh shit. Is that you? That's not me. Did you just glitch out? Mordrag randomly vaults into the air and falls to his death. Yeah, I have a bunch of shit, dude. Get the, get my get my dragon bone sword. Did an admin do that to me? Steven is gathering his loot when he hears someone else fall. I'm not that far. I got your dragon bone stuff. Oh, dude, okay. someone else died on the elevator. Someone else had died. Oh, dude. Who could it be? Going after the loot. Who is this? It's D Dog. I got a shit, dude. Come to me. Come to me. I'm so encumbered. You need to yeah, grab I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Dude, I'm going to the water. I got all his shit. I got his full kit. Hell yeah, dude. Just get to the water. How'd he die? I think it's glitching or something. I saw you rocket into the air. Yeah, yeah. It's glitched. I'm at the water. Swim, swim, Steven. You slow f okay. D Dog's about to flip the f out, dude. You need to grab this and run. I'm too slow. Are they at the elevator? They called it up, but most of your loot is there. I got your sword and some arrow, but the rest of the loot's there if you want to try to grab it. I'm just gonna slow walk. Oh shit, he's looking at my body right now. He was looting my body, I just grabbed it and ran right past him. Go, dude, run. Where are you? North, on the other side of the lake. If you can get to me, we can hide together. Bro, we're safe, we did it. Dude. We did it! Yo, hey, watch this. Watch this real quick. Oh my god, dude. Hey, who do I look like? <laughs> I think we got off on the wrong foot. Friends, you're obsessed with me, mate. I'm finally in, are you guys, like, finishing up? Steven and Mordrag make it back home with their pockets full of loot. Community service will take these small victories and continue to chip away at the ones until total victory is achieved. And Summer finally makes it onto the server after the action. It's almost like a Moscow. Yo, oh, shit, I just got launched. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking hatch on the roof. Moment of truth, how do we do? Ray time is over. Steven checks in on their new base. Oh, we're in business, baby. Okay, back to the grind. Steven gets back to the grind of Thrall recruitment. He's settling into his new environment. Go to Wine Cellar, KO Treasure Seeker, swim across water, and repeat. Everything is proceeding fine when suddenly a group of strangers ride into the cellar. Steven takes off before saying hello. Dude in chat. Old Craig, I want in your videos. Lol, he is garbage. I love his vids. Welcome Steven the Rat. He got this butthead to inside us a couple of seasons ago. They still ended up losing. Gold material. Rex, a friend and clansman of the Rat Cult's old enemy king, is clearly still upset. Once upon a time, the Rat Cult invaded their loot room and they lost their revenge raid. As if that wasn't the most exciting thing that's happened to him. So what's going on on the map today? There seems to be a lot of uh, monsters by the Oasis. Cheetahs as well, or Jaguars, I don't know. Jaguar. 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 It's a Jaguar. Summer and Steven meet up and spot an exile running towards the summoning pits. They decide to follow him. Oh yeah, there's someone else down here. Do you want to go follow him? <coughs> We're getting really close to him. What do I do when I catch up to him? <laughs> One button. It's like he has a story to tell. Steven spins a tale about ye old rat king. Pronounce his clan name for me. Shalom Adam. Oh god. Shalom Adam. <laughs> I love your run. <laughs> um, I don't even know what button brings up. I, I don't have any real conversations. Just a uh, polite clap. Do you don't have any options? What? I wonder where I got this from. This would be a Kefin question. He knows where all the recipes are. Want the cooking book on the bench, just to the left? He does. Have a dance. Oh, does he have toys at the front of his house? Yeah. He's on the move. <laughs> oh God. Is this harassment? Are we harassing this dude? Oh, this is the area where you held your tryouts. Yes. The second trial will test the pledge's ability to find the rat hole. Every base has a rat hole, and only the greasiest of rats will find it. In the most dire of situations, when the walls are tall and the enemies are closing in, trust your instincts. Find the rat hole. Oh, he's running away. Get him. <laughs> oh, no, I'm scared. <laughs> Fucking hell. 
Did he have anything on him? Me. Oh shit, dogs. <laughs> oh, rip. <sighs> Their chase comes to a splattering conclusion. It's not long before a more interesting target is spotted. The ones are back online. The ones are on right now. What if we just power blasted them off the elevator and then the fall would just kill them and they could just loot their shit and then just run? Do you want to try it? Yeah. Maybe we can trap this guy too. It's like they make these wild games where so much crazy shit is possible and then people just come in and like police it immediately. Summer and Steven get ready to head over to the ones base. He crafts a yellow lotus potion and respects. There's actually some fully grown pets over here. Yeah, it's so easy to get pets in this game. I've only had pets once. Jordan wanted to get bears so bad. We were getting raided and we're sitting in base listening and we're like, oh, dude, you hear that? And then all of a sudden, like, you hear, like, our bears just getting killed. And Jordan's like, no, not the fucking bears. You're out of steel. Why does the first furnace not have anything in it? Like, not even coal. Take know. all the coal out of it. No, dude. Oh, shit. Put the coal back in. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't. <laughs> I keep pressing F. I'm good on brick, good on shape wood. But yeah, good dude. on brick, because I just collected like 30,000 stone. <laughs> no, dude, like we can always use brick. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna need it. Stop. Stop moving. You hear that? Someone but just I jumped. I heard a jump. Someone's it's here. It's probably the animals. Someone's trying to get up here. Oh, uh, I definitely just heard something. Oh, dude, we're... All right, I quit. They're here. Oh no, <laughs> they're here. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? They're having major issues getting up, dude. That's our best defense. I don't even have okay, a so weapon. Okay, so let's keep building. I can't, I don't have steel. Building. I know, but I need to bring out the steel, dudes. Bring out the steel. Oh, you hear that? Someone got out a bow. Listen, someone's firing. I think they're killing our pets now. What are they firing at? Probably the pets. Don't kill. Don't kill the pets. Oh, poor thing. He's like, I'm never doing that ever again. Oh, dude, someone's here at the map roof. Maximofo built up on that little rock over there. And they called it the wizard sleeve. Holy shit. Bro, you've been doing a bit of work on that base or what? Oh my god, of course he did. Maybe one day, Stephen will build his own tower there. Can you stand still for a second? <gasps> so that like knocked you back a little bit, right? Yes. This is where I built that little like one by one shack. You need to get out of here, my dude. Was she Australian? No, she was just a weird American. This is their base. Look at- yeah, that's gigantic. Ooh, coins. Oh wait, are these guys online? <gasps> Yeah, I'm up here by the stable. The goal here is to knock them off their elevator. He needs to find a good, discreet location with direct line of sight. This is open too. What is going on? Did you see? How is all this just open? It appears as if the ones were raided. They got raided. Look, it's that 50,000. So someone just blew in through their doors. I bet he's in here. Probably. I'm kind of freaked out. <gasps> hey! Oh, it's open. <laughs> what should we do? Do you think he would see me right here? <laughs> Probably not. The fall will kill him. One member, Dracaraka, is online and appears to be rebuilding. Oh, he's here. He's fucking here. Can you see him? Oh. Fuck. I see. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. He saw me. <laughs> Fuck. Is he still there? Ah, uh, he's gone inside. But he knows I'm here. <laughs> I went up another tier in his house. Hello, Hello how, are how are you today? today? Oh, he jumped on my head to get me off his wall. He's got to come out at some point. Oh, he's going um, on the elevator. Oh, Dracarak is he? Yeah, but Tim. Hello, how are you today? They don't want to voice chat with me. So one of them is standing. Can you see where they are? They're going on the uh, elevator right now. Don't push it. He's trying to push me up the edge of the elevator. Hello guys! Hello! They just spawned an elephant up here. Oh, Hello! Man. Do you hear him? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I hear something. You're exposing me, get away from me. Hello, man. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hi, how are you today? <laughs> oh my god! That was a that little, was a bit, little rude. bit rude. Oh, he found me. Oh, shit. Steven is spotted and the plan is spoiled. It's time for plan B. <laughs> What are these guys doing? Come on down. Yeah, I think they may have gotten freaked out. <sighs> Two naked people. <laughs> yeah. Steven can only hope that whoever raided the ones decided to leave them 50% of their loot. 
it's the right thing to do. They've got tons of resources in here. Oh, there's a preservation box and alchemical base, leather. Oh, that's what we can do. Take anything that's placeable and we'll put it on top of the trap base. Ooh, gas orbs, money. Plan B is simple. The ones wouldn't allow the cult to capture the Beastmaster, so he's going to capture the ones. This is the reason why Steven was so concerned about placing foundations here earlier. It was in preparation for this very moment. Oh, do you see them? See them all hopping off there? They have an elephant. They must be doing farming. So they'll leave for a little bit and they'll come back. The ones leave on a farming run. When they return, the cult will be waiting. Now I'll stick everything I took from them on the roof. <laughs> That's so naughty. Plots and walls? Oh yeah, sweet. That's good. This looks even more poverty. Poverty is such a nice thing. It's a vibe, for sure. The ones are back. Steven must get their attention. They're going up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the artisan bench. The artisan table. Always the artisan table. Always. It's the most useless. Thing. All right, I wonder if we could get like a torch, like a standing torch. A torch? Yeah, I can do that. Oh, okay. Ah, that's really clever. Okay. Oh, oh someone's here. Oh, shit. Stay there, stay there. He's got a backpack on. Dracaraka from The Ones is here to investigate the strange building that has popped up on their front step. The bearer's backpack indicates he's returned from a farming run. He's rebuilding their base. The ones cannot be allowed to rise again. He's climbing up. Oh, chill. He's coming. Blow it, 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 blow it. Blow it. Got him. Knock, knock. Who's there? The ones? The ones who? The ones that are trapped. Welcome to Steven's world. <laughs> Got him. Oh, shit. Just let him kill him. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Summer, you did it. Nice job. Awesome and, job. Oh man, that's funny. Oh, I think he's trying to despawn his stuff. He might pull his friends out soon. <laughs> oh, come on. Come, no. Let's, come no, take your weapon. Come away. take your weapon and try and kill me, man. <laughs> okay, fair fight. Fair fight. Hell in a cell! Hell in a cell! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. And I'm out. I made it. Fantastic. That looks so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in and try to get his stuff again real quick. I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, take it easy, bro. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, think it's I gave you a spear. Come on, come down here and fight. Oh, his thrall hurts. I'll try to get him to talk, maybe. And you tell me if he talks, because I'm having audio issues. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? Hello, Hello are, you are you there? He seems grumpy. People are so hard to hit when they're moving. Could you hold still, please? Mm -hmm. Oh. You got 500 alchemic base on me. If you come and kill me. Oh my God. Try talking. If not, I'm going to spawn it right before the server ends. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll talk to him a bit. Hi. Hi. You have, you have an arrow, arrow in your head. This Lemurian axe could be all yours. And 500 alchemic base. 500 alchemic base. <laughs> he thinks that we care about gold and riches. I'll let you out if you give that to me. This thrall's gonna kill me, wow. I don't know if this dude can hear either of us, uh-oh. Oh, he dropped it. Steven and Summer claim their prize, their very own human thrall. They built it a suitable home with windows for sunlight and place friendly signs. Can we make a sign? Good idea. Hey. Okay, I've got that sign. <laughs> what do you want to write on there? I don't know. Something about being our pet. This thrall will serve the cult well. Baldrick will be pleased. You can name him. Um, Fluffy? I don't know. Or maybe something. <laughs> you can see how that text is, uh... 
We have to put a sign so when he looks through the window when he logs on, he can see it. Oh my god. You have to think of something real good. It's gotta be the first thing he sees tomorrow when he logs on. Like, hello? The call is unsure if he ever returned. The ones were never seen again. And Mordrag is avenged. Oh, I thought I saw him waking up. But he's not. No, that dude definitely quit for the night. For sure. At least he'll wake up to a nice sign. <laughs> In the beginning, Mordrag wanted to capture a Beastmaster Thrall, but the Ones wouldn't let him. In the end, it was only fair that the Cult captured one of the Ones instead. The Rat Cult's story has only just begun. They will face many challenges in the chapters to come, but the Rat Cult's devotion to the cause is unshakable. They hunger for more skulls because the Cult demands sacrifices. Mordrag and Steven set off to turn this shack into a proper home. And for the first time, Steven will have access to new building and item skins. In the early days of the Rat Cult, prior to the fall of the Rat Tower and the arrival of Dennis, Steven drafted cult propaganda and entered it into a Funcom Valentine's Day contest. Steven won the contest and spread the good word of the cult. You actually won that, dude? That's yeah, yeah. hilarious. I was once young and beautiful, athletic and tan. I was confident and dashing. I was a man. But ambition collided my judgment. I lingered for too long. Now my features are twisted by magic, so I'll write you the song. I wear pots and pans to deflect arrows and swords, but they don't stop the insults, those terrible words. So I growl and rage, I'm a terrible sight to behold. And though I appear fearsome, I have a heart of gold. From behind my pans, I watch you with bated breath. You are my goddess, O priestess of pleasure and death. I yearn for your affection, a simple touch or even a kiss. My twin serpents are coiled, send me into screaming bliss. Alas, I am grotesque, I know you can never love me. From afar I will adore you, like the moon reaching out to the sea. I am the largest of my kind, I am the king of the imps. Oh sweet Yakira, priestess of Durketto, for you I simp. His prize was a key to unlock all of the DLC, 